In this lesson, I'll show you calculations on preparations of buffers. The question reads, what is the pH of a buffer made from 0 0.10 molar formic acid and 0 0.10 molar formate? The dissociation constant for formic acid is 1.8 times 10 to the power of negative 4. I want to start by writing out the dissociation chemical equation of formic acid and water. So we have HCHO2 coming together with water and this forms H3O plus and remember that formic acid is a weak acid so you're not going to get too much of that plus CHO2 minus. Notice the hydrogen dissociated and chemically bonded with H2O. This is aqueous and that's aqueous. From here, we need to write the acid dissociation constant expression. So we'll take the concentrations of the products, H3O plus, and multiply it to this one. And make sure that this chemical equation is balanced. It is. But before you do this, you need to make sure that it's balanced. Divide it by only this one because that's a liquid. So HCHO2 and that is equal to Ka, the dissociation constant that they gave us in the question. We can start to fill this out. We're told that the concentration of formic acid, this one, is 0 0.10. That's two significant figures. And the concentration of formate, this ion, is 0 0.10. And Ka is 1.8 times 10 to the power of negative 4. 1.8 times 10 to the power of negative 4. We are looking for the concentration of H3O, hydronium. Because by finding its concentration, we can plug it into the formula pH is equal to negative log of the concentration of H3O plus, And we can find the pH. So let's go ahead and plug these numbers in and solve for H3O plus. I have 1.8 times 10 to the power of negative 4 on the left side times, I'll multiply both sides by what's in the denominator, which is 0 0.10. That will cancel out the denominator here. And then I'll divide both sides by whatever that is, which is 0 0.10, leaving us with, on the right side, the concentration of H3O plus. This will cancel out with that. And technically, all we have to do is substitute this number right into there. So using our calculator, we have negative log. And that number again was 1.8 times 10 to the power of negative 4. We end up with 3.74. Now remember, when you find the log of a number, in our case 1.8, that's two significant figures and that translates to two significant figures after the decimal place of your answer. So we should have 3.74, not 3.7. 3.74 is the pH of this solution. Now in question number two they say what is the pH of a buffer made from 0 0.10 molar? If you recognize that's the same as in question one, but this time the concentration of this has decreased by a factor of 10. So think about it. We started off with 0 0.10 and if we divide that by 10 you get this number. Now how does that translate without having to do all these calculations? It turns out that if you do all these calculations you'll find out that the pH is 2.74. It goes down by a magnitude of 10 and that's shown in these numbers. So that's the answer to question number two and that is how to calculate for the preparation of buffers.